Welcome to Leif Plays City Skylines. This is a new city building simulator that just came out a couple of days ago. And uh, people are pretty excited about it because, uh, you know, we all got very excited about um, the newest SimCity when it came out and it ended up being kind of a disappointment. But uh, people have been really, uh, really getting into this game. And so I thought we would do some, uh, some videos of it together. So I started a, a new city, haven't done anything in it yet. Uh, we'll load it up and check it out together. Uh, so the, the visual style I really like. It looks a little bit different than, than SimCity did. Um, you know, kind of the, the layout is similar to begin with, but uh, we'll begin to see some of the, the differences as we go. All right, so. Uh, we want to look at the whole area here because we will actually get to expand our city in either direction as we progress. Um, so, you know, eventually we'll, we'll be um, getting more and more of this. Actually, can we see here? We can. So we'll have uh, more of these squares pop up in this mode uh, that we can purchase. So we'll be able to expand um, into these areas. And so I just want to take a look here and maybe start to think of ideas of what we want where um, but for now for now let's just get something started and then we can we can tweak it to our heart's content later so we got our freeway connection here um, right inside the gate I think what I want to do is um, I think oh, I'm gonna start with something small here Actually, hmm, I thought we get the four-lane road right away. There's a progression to the game, so uh, different pieces unlock as you go, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but let's let's start building a road. Actually, let's just connect these two right off the bat. And then let's build a road up this direction, and maybe like this, and we'll we'll put kind of like our power plant and stuff right inside the gate so that we can get um, the coal or natural gas or whatever that we need to it quickly. Um, and the other thing we're going to need right away besides power is water. And you can kind of see here the water is flowing a particular direction. If we go to the water mode and grab our pump, we actually see arrows. So the, the direction the water flows is really important because um, not only do we pump water, uh, for drinking and whatever. We also have to have an outflow for sewage. Um, and obviously you don't want your sewage upstream of your water pump, so that's gonna become important. I'll just drop this down for now. I'm gonna put it close to the edge so we can fit in a bunch as we need them. All right, and let's, actually let's pause the game so we're not losing money here. We're gonna want a coal power plant right off the bat, I think. So actually we can put this immediately inside the city. Yeah, let's do that. All right, and then we're gonna need power to get down here. So this thing doesn't work without power. Uh, power will just jump from building to building. Uh, but if you're going long distances like this, you'll need to connect with uh, high tension power lines. Okay, so that's powered. We got our power plant running, so that's power and water, and we're just going to need to start zoning stuff, so um, let's, oh, there that unlocked, I don't know why that wasn't there right off the bat, but, alright, this is going to be a little weird, and the snapping, let's turn that off for the moment, I want to kind of make this even if I can. I am not guaranteeing that the city is going to be a pretty one <laughs> this time around, but we'll see. All right, we can turn the snapping back on, I think. Bring this out this direction. And it probably isn't necessary to actually come out this far, but actually I'm going to because I want it to kind of line up. And once we have a reference, then everything works pretty well. But before we have a reference, it's kind of hard to to get stuff to snap. Oh, it 
supposed to. Let's see, we come all the way up here. All right, we're just we're just sort of lining it up on that those white dashed lines. All right, that'll be kind of our reference. So let's see here. We're gonna want an industrial zone back this direction, I think. So I'm just gonna come out as far as I can, and then. We'll just make these short little blocks here. Uh, let's see that. Yeah. So let's throw down some industry with the fill tool. Uh, so you can actually paint zones like this. Uh, you can m use a marquee tool to add them in, or you can just use a fill bucket, which is kind of cool. I like that. Uh, and right click to delete. I like that uh, flexibility that you get. All right, and then I think what I'm gonna do to begin here is start to throw down, you know what, actually, I want these things referenced off of this. Because as you saw, that line starts to creep out eventually, which is kind of weird. All right, and let's see, a little too far. I'll make blocks like this for our for our residential zone to begin with. So let's throw out some residential, and we're gonna make this zone commercial. So let's just uh, get a connecting road right there. Throw it on some commercial, and yeah, because that because these roads aren't exactly parallel, uh, this doesn't fill in perfectly. Um, and it has to do with, I think, the angle that this road comes in at. So this snaps to be parallel with whatever this is, but this isn't coming in normal to the edge of the map for whatever reason. Um, all right, so let's just uh, let's get the time running here and watch our... Uh, well, they're not sims, so what are they? Just people, I guess, <laughs> who live in here. I don't really understand what this whole tweet thing is. It's like the mayor keeps tweeting at you, but it seems to usually be, you know, useless, just flavor text stuff. Um, I haven't, I haven't really figured out what that's all about yet. But okay, we can see our population is zero right now. People are very grumpy, uh, but there aren't any of them, so I guess that doesn't matter. We can see our, our balance and our weekly income. And you can see the weeks pass right here, I believe. Or are those days? 27, 3, 2015, 28. Okay, those are days, I guess. Um, but this is a weekly income number here. So let's see. Ah, yes, water. Nobody has any water. Because uh, we gave this thing electricity, but we didn't hook it up to water pipes, so we got to do that. So let's bring, actually let's bring this all the way over here, and we'll throw down some pipes like so. And actually we're going to need some across this way, so let's just uh, connect these here. sewage now, they're complaining about that. So, like I said, uh, we have our water pump here, but we're going to need our sewage downstream, because that's going to pollute the river down this way. Uh, so later on in the game, I believe we do get access to um, water treatment type of stuff, uh, and that'll kind of help us to clean up our pollution. These tool tips. I'll have to figure out how to maybe turn these tool tips off. They are quite persistent sometimes. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. So we got that connected to power, but now we also need this connected to our water system, uh, our pipes. So let's just kind of follow this along and we'll throw it on pipes. don't 
really snap, and I guess they don't really have to. There's no reason for them to, but... Um, I mean, they kind of snap to roads, but not always exactly how you expect. Uh, Alright, so... Let the game run again here. And, uh... We can go to our info view here, and let's look at the water and make sure that this is getting what it needs. Uh, so that's... Usually it takes a few seconds for these buildings to turn on. Okay, there we go, it turned blue instead of being black. So it's functioning now. So that's great. We can see our how much water we have uh, available. That's basically pr water production from the pump. And then sewage treatment is uh, outflow. So that gives our capacity numbers, which is good. And our power, uh, still have a lot more power than we need. All right, we need more zones, some more residential. So. Um, I'm just starting with kind of a rectangular pattern here to get us going. Um, we'll do some more kind of interesting creative designs as we go. Alright, I'm going to check on our time here quick. We're at 11 minutes. I'm going to try and keep these two 15 minute chunks just a little bit shorter than uh, my previous Minecraft videos, which were typically I was shooting for 20 minutes, but uh, we'll keep these a little bit more uh, focused. Alright, so we've got things going. Let's speed things up a bit here. Alright, we're gonna need our industry. Okay, we do have industrial zones, so they're starting to move in. Let's get that there. Let's build a couple more of these, and let's bring this across. That'd be a little weird um, intersection, but let's drop those in and let's Let's leave this empty so far, uh, for now, because uh, we're going to need garbage soon, and some of these areas might be good for that sort of thing. <clears throat> and by we are going to need garbage soon, what I really mean is we're going to need a, a dump soon to handle our garbage. So, and actually, you know how we can clean up these, these weird roads here? Let's delete that and let's build it from this side. So if we do it like this now, oh, except I'm out of money. So let's check here. Okay, we can't get a loan yet. So we will just have to hope that our population grows enough that we can get out of our deficit here. I didn't think I, I went too crazy with our spending yet, but Okay, there we go. All right, this is another cool feature of the game. Uh, you sort of level up your town and then get access to more features like different kinds of roads, different buildings. You know, in this case, you get the school, the basic clinic, and the landfill, and then some uh, the services that these apply to. Um, now we have access to taking out loans, and we can adjust our taxes. So pieces of the game keep unlocking as you go. So we can look at our next level that we're shooting for, and these are based on population. So our next population uh, target of 850. When we achieve that, we'll be able to buy another chunk of land if we want. We'll be able to um, access these features here. Uh, we'll st suddenly be able to work with the fire police um, and some industrial stuff and two new buildings, a police station, a firehouse. So you can see how this is kind of going to work as we go. All right, and uh, along with that, I'll just pause here quick, we get an influx of cash with each level that we up, uh, that we achieve. So, so let me just try and get this road quick on here. Um, yeah, we want it like that. So that'll be our new, sort of our new template that we'll that we'll go for. It. And you can see how this is now off a little bit. See how that angles off? Just like that. That's what I was talking about before. So we'll we'll tweak that as we go. Alright, let's get the game running again. Um Alright, well we're we're out of the woods. We got um, got our first upgrade and our town is looking fairly healthy so far. Let's just check electricity. We got plenty. Water and sewage, we got plenty. Garbage collection, we got to deal with. Actually, let's just deal with that right away. So we'll put our landfill in first here. Let's actually, okay, we can't fit it on that edge. 
but we can fit it in this block here. So let's fit one right there. All right. And now you can see this. Uh, oh, I guess that is turned on right away. So if we look at our garbage info view right there. All right, we can see uh, green roads means the garbage trucks can get everywhere efficiently. And if we click here, we can see 0% full. It's using this many garbage trucks, uh, costing us this much. And uh, landfill usage shows here. Cool. All right, well, for this episode, we're just going to stop here. Let's, uh, let's zoom in and get a nice view of our, our residential zone here. It's a nice looking game, I think. I, I really like the aesthetics. Anyway, we'll leave it here. We'll be back next episode with uh, probably some fire police um, clinics. Dress up our city a little bit more and go from there. All right, everybody have a great one. I will see you next time.